People were already adding a new word to their vocabularies, EVA. It stood for extravehicular activity. Some were uncertain whether you said EVA or EVA, but regardless of the pronunciation, it would become an abbreviation of our time. A special EVA suit and life support pack had been designed and tested by NASA engineers in the Crew Systems Division. The EVA helmet has three visors. The inner visor is the normal suit visor with seals in suit pressure. Over it are two special visors. They are detachable and need not be worn throughout the entire mission. The outer or sun visor is easily recognized from its gold coating. It reflects both visible light and infrared rays. With it attached, only 10% of the sun's visible light is admitted. Beneath the sun visor, but not visible here, is an inner protective visor made of polycarbonate plastic. The Gemini suit has layers of aluminized mylar, nylon, and felt. In combination, they protect the astronaut against temperature and space particles. Special overgloves are worn to guard against extremes of space temperature if the astronaut should grasp the spacecraft during EVA. As the astronaut leaves Gemini, he is attached by a supporting umbilical line, 25 feet long. The umbilical is actually one assembly consisting of three elements, a nylon tension line, electrical wiring, and an umbilical line. The nylon line, or tether, is shorter than the umbilical line. It takes all loads exerted during EVA and can withstand 1,000 pounds of pull. The electrical wiring enables the astronaut to maintain direct communication with his command pilot. It also records biomedical readings for ground surgeons. The umbilical line furnishes oxygen to the suit from the spacecraft's primary oxygen system. The life support pack mounted on the parachute harness contains an emergency oxygen bottle. If the umbilical line should fail, the astronaut would have enough oxygen to support him for at least nine minutes, more than enough time for him to return to the spacecraft safely in an emergency. The pilot also carries a small maneuvering unit during EVA, the so-called space gun. Designed by NASA engineers of the Flight Crew Support Division, the gun provides a limited amount of thrust from compressed oxygen for basic maneuvering experiments. <laughs>